So in this video, I want to talk to you about how to get a research paper published fast. And if you don't know me, I'm Professor Dave Massack. I'm an Associate Professor of Innovation Strategy and Entrepreneurship. And I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There were so many people that helped me out that I wanted to pay the favor forward to help you out. So this morning, my dog is, um, she's 15 years old. She's a, a, a goldie doodle and uh, she ate our Easter chocolate. And so I had to rush her to my vet who happens to be somebody that I really know very closely. And she's at the vet right now. So um, I decided to work at the office. And um, I actually wanted to talk about it on my on my drive in, you know, worrying about my dog, I wanted to think about, or I was thinking about how do you actually publish a research paper quickly? And why do people have that belief that publishing quickly is the ultimate goal to what we're trying to do? So, you know, how do you publish research quickly? You just don't care. You just throw it into any old journal you can send it to, there's a lot of journals that are out there, a lot of them. Uh, you just simply have to Google how to publish a research paper quickly. And you just find a journal and you type in journal in your area. And you know what's gonna pop up? It's gonna be all these illegitimate journals that are going to allow you to, you can pay to get into a lot of these journals, you just pay them $1,000. Maybe it's $2,000 to get into those journals. Um, and they'll publish it like instantaneously. And so you can get your thing published. You can do all sorts of other things that will allow you to publish quickly. Um, you know, there's there's very well known things that we, we know about. So, um, you know, doing things like doing easier projects and easier research ideas, you know, things that are maybe based on, and I'm not going to sort of put anything down and please don't just don't, don't sort of think about this as, 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 as put down, but things that, you know, it's easy to collect data and it's very simple to collect data. It's simple to come up with some sort of, um, you know, idea of some sort that is just derivative of what other people have done. And all of those things will get you published very quickly and they will allow you to do things. You just simply have to strongly mimic maybe another paper that's out there. And you just basically do the exact same idea and you find another article, another journal that will publish that thing. You look at networks and you try to get some sort of research publishing network where you're all working together and everybody is sort of putting your name on, on their names on everybody else's papers. Now that is not necessarily problematic because that is what science is about. But at the same time, that's how you publish quickly and you publish a lot. So there's all sorts of tricks that are out there to publish quickly, but I'm gonna tell you this and I'm gonna ask you this right now. Why the hell are you worried about publishing quickly? If that is what the end goal is, is just, just to get another paper published, the end goal is to accumulate more stuff, accumulate more citations, accumulate more cars or accumulate a bigger house or whatever you're looking at, then that's not much of a life that you're actually living. If you're going to get external validation from some silly little thing, some silly little thing that, that people can see and they don't really understand that, that there's a lot more to this to get original ideas, to do something that is, that is, is good, that requires a substantial amount of work. If you can't see that, you're missing the whole point to what you're doing. And so we have to realize that the goal is not to publish quickly. It never is. The goal is to go do good science, to do good research, to take the time where you are, are, are doing something just because it is good research and it's hard to do. And so if you want to do something that people will read, people will will actually respect what you're doing, then don't publish quickly. Do the hard work to do things where people will say, you know what, 
that person, she actually spent the time to work really hard on this thing. And that takes a lot of effort. And we recognize that effort. There is so much more behind the scenes to get to an idea that is clear, that everybody understands, that is published in a very good journal. However you define that very good journal, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of relentless work. And anybody that is doing good work understands what it actually takes to actually get there. And that's the respect that you want to earn is from the people that are doing good work because they see what it actually takes. So if you're thinking about publishing something fast, I'm going to try to get you to say, no, don't do it. Publish good work. Work at it. Do something that people will read. Do something that people will respect you of people that you actually care about. There is so much in this world where we can just hack things. Well, you know, if you want to get a doctorate degree, if you want to get some sort of degree, I can find you a place that you're going to get it in a year. I can find you a place that you can get published five times a year. No problems. It's not that hard to find that. But to find the place that you're going to earn respect from other people, which is what you are probably seeking, simply slow it down and do a good job. Screw what other people are saying, that they're saying that you're not doing good enough work or whatever. Don't worry about that. Just do good work. Take the time to do it right. Slow it down. Work hard at it and do it every day for a decade. Good luck. And I'm gonna implore you, don't do it, it's not worth it. Once you've actually tried to publish quickly and you got there, you're gonna be looking around, you're gonna be saying, well, shit, why did I do that?